Our last example is similar to the first two, except for this time we're looking for the principal and we're actually given the amount after time. We're still using our PERT formula because our account is compounded continuously. So we're going to substitute the information we know and solve for what we don't. We want to have $450,000 available for retirement. Remember, we don't know how long we're going to live after we retire, so it's nice to have a substantial amount of money left to live off of. We're looking for the initial investment. We found an account compounded continuously. Those are rare. We know the interest rate. Convert that to a decimal and multiply by the number of years, 25. So when we begin to solve this one on the other one, we divided by the principal first because we were solving for a variable in the exponent. This time, we're solving for the principal. So what we're actually going to do is divide both sides by e to the 0 0.06125 times 25 power. When you punch this into your calculator to get the principal, you want to make sure that you either multiply the numbers in the exponent first or put parentheses around them before you do e to the power of. So if your principal amount was not the same as mine, you did something wrong with the order of operations. I got $97,319.33. That is a lot of money. Not a lot of people have $97,000 just laying around to invest in an account to make sure that they're ready for retirement. And this is 25 years away. So, little financial lecture here. Make sure you think about that. As soon as you get a job, you start putting money away for retirement so that you have money to live off of when you are older. The longer you wait, even if you delay it one year, that interest gets compounded on interest and you lose a lot of money by not investing right away. So I know when you are 22 and you graduate college, and you think about your future, you don't think you really need to think about it just then. And I'm telling you right now, you do as soon as you can. Even if you can start investing now, that would be ideal. If you have a job, put 10, 20% away for retirement. Open an account now, even if you can't contribute to it while you're in college. Because let's face it, everybody in college is poor. The money that you have already put into the account will start earning interest. So something to consider to make sure that you are taking care of yourself when you are older. And your you try problem.